good morning and welcome back to another episode of Lancer Central. We have a lot of action coming up this weekend here in Farmville with baseball kicking off their season and a basketball doubleheader. Later in the episode, we'll be talking about the impact Deshaun Wade has had on the men's basketball program. So to switch things up a little bit this week, we're highlighting the top three plays from, you guessed it, number three, Deshaun Wade. At number three, we've got the ball in Hill's hands. He'll kick it out for the wide open jumper from number three, nothing but net. And that is just one three of three of his threes that game. He finishes the game with nine points against High Point. As you can see, the crowd is going crazy for him. At number two, we'll take it to Upstate. Isaiah Wilkins will have the ball right here. He kicks it wide, step back, three pointer, swish, and one. He will cash in that three-pointer and the free throw to follow it for the huge win over Upstate last week. And at number one, Longwood at Charleston Southern here. Wade's got the ball driving in from the wing, puts a spin move on him and grabs that bucket. And again, an and one, and he'll get that point in the huge win over Charleston Southern on the road. As mentioned, baseball's opening weekend is finally here and they kick things off at home here in Farmville. They will be hosting University of Maryland Eastern Shore all weekend long. And then on Tuesday, they will welcome the River City foe, the VCU Rams. After that game, the team will hit the road to take on the number 10 nationally ranked NC State Wolfpack. After opening weekend for softball, Emily Vinson earned her first Big South co-freshman of the week honor. In her Lancer debut, Vinson batted 500, going seven for 14 at the plate, grabbing her first two career doubles, six runs, and swatted her first homer out of the park in the 8-7 comeback victory over Fresno State on Friday. Longwood has another trip coming up this weekend as well, paying a visit to Arkansas for the Razorback Invitational. They'll be competing once again amongst top ranked teams in the country like number 10 Arkansas, number 25 Wichita State, Illinois and Western Illinois. And if you can believe it, we are less than two weeks away from the 2022 Hercules Tire Big South Basketball Tournament. That'll take place March 1st through the 6th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Throughout the season, we have talked about all the historic moments for both basketball programs. This week, Lancer Central's highlights Deshaun Wade and Griff Aldrich's relationship and how the duo has helped each other and the program progress to what it is today. Deshaun, uh, Deshaun was really well known to uh, one of our former assistant coaches. Uh, so we got to see uh, film on him uh, both as a high school player and then a little bit uh, at his time at East Carolina. We thought he was a really good shooter, um, thought he was a big physical guard, uh, weren't really sure what type of uh, ball handler and, and scorer he would be. Uh, but we thought, um, you know, he, he would be a, a, a tough player uh, who really competed. When I came here, you know, uh, I was just more of just a, you know, just a shooter or whatever. But, you know, coming here now, I'm, I'm a pretty good defender. You know, I have a lot more IQ with the game. Um, I understand, you know, our goals offensively and defensively. This is now year four uh, for me. Uh, when we got here, the, the primary thing we wanted to do was to really establish a strong culture and to do it with uh, the type of young men and, and student athletes who we thought, you know, would emulate, you know, the values that, that we really wanted to promote. Deshaun has, has, has been that, uh, you know, throughout his time. When I first came here, um, you know, I, like we all think, you know, you have a pretty good handle on life and, you know, you don't think you have any problems. You don't think you, there's anything really bad with you. But I think Griff has really helped me realize my problems not only on the court, like you have the same problems on the court and they can really mess you up in life too. Like if you're going to be lazy on the court, you can be lazy in life. If you're not going to try to lead your team every day and you're going to take days off on the game, you're going to take days off in life. One of the things that we've been challenging him even last year and then into this year is not only to lead by example, but to, to you know, ensure uh, that, his, that his teammates are also doing what, what, what's expected of them. It means a lot to you know, know that I have a, such a big impact on these guys. Um, 
for one, it keeps me on my toes because I know it's, I can never really take a day off. But at the same time, it's kind of like, it's kind of like humbling because, you know, um, you know, when you mess up, everybody's looking at you. I have a great deal of confidence when Deshaun's on the court. I know what I'm going to get from him on the defensive end, which is a consistent effort and one of the top defenders in the conference. Uh, to on the offensive end, you know, I have a confident, seasoned, you know, senior guard who is very comfortable playing a critical role for this team. If you told me when I first got here we was going to go on an 11-game streak, I would have probably laughed at you. But, you know, just preaching, you know, stand, sticking to the process and, you know, just improving every single day, it's amazing what can happen in three years. So, you know, it's, you know, it's really surreal. The ceiling for this team is still significantly higher than, than what we've seen. Um, I think if we can put a, a consistent 40 minutes of basketball together, I think this team is, is, is certainly a, a very formidable team. And the men's senior day is this Saturday at 7 p.m. against Hampton. We hope to see you all there. And that game will directly follow the women's game who will be taking on Presbyterian. And that game will begin at 3 o'clock. A lot of exciting things coming up for Longwood as the spring seasons are underway and basketball prepares for the postseason play. As always, to stay up to date with all the news and every game, match, and win for your favorite Longwood teams, follow us on social media at Longwood Lancers. That'll do it for this episode of Lancer Central. I hope you all have a great weekend. And of course, I'm Emily McNamara, and I'll see you next time.